Hey, I'm never tempted to not just give you a random achievement that will be on your profile forever. <laughs> yeah. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like we used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Okay. Broken battery. So we need to replace the glass? Probably. <coughs> I don't think we can do anything else here, Matthew. It feels like we're on the right track, though. Okay. Alright, fits not perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track. Not now. Okay, so we do need to replace that. Yeah. So we need some kind of bulb. Well, not bulb. Looks like a lens is missing. Hey, you mind giving me your eyeball? No, no, let's not be rude. <laughs> you just need a flame that's glass and has something has some kind of round lens in it. Okay, we can't combine the bottle. Great. I mean, there is a smasher thing that we could probably try to use the bottle on. Yeah, and get glass in our freaking eyes. Fine. Probably gonna go badly, but I mean... Oh. Uh. I knew that would happen. I'm not gonna <laughs> smash the bottle. <laughs> Quick, try to use the crowbar on I, your I keep forgetting the combination thing. I mean, the pools of water, or whatever it is, yeah. are really nice. Also, this is a very pretty area, despite the, you know, giant death pits. Yeah, and mine shafts. Okay. What the hell? Although the poisonous gas is highly localized by the vent zones, barren workers are still wear vented gas masks. These masks are made to worry around vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce gets replaced by robots, we find ourselves at the surface of banded gas masks. Seems like ways to get rid of them all, so we catch a few for emergencies. Oh, that's good. Well, there's our obvious answer for that. God damn. The sun will not return in the abyss was calling my name. I'm sorry everyone for choosing to leave before the darkness upgates us all. Why do I feel like somebody just committed suicide? Yeah, no, that uh, very much feels like what that's supposed to be. Metal safe. Seems like a lock with a six digit code. I don't remember seeing any six digit. Do you, Matthew? One, two, three, four. Five, six. Had a try. <laughs> and no, we haven't seen a six-digit code before you started making some sassy comment. I wasn't actually going to make a sassy comment. <laughs> With the mining operations going smoothly, which is no longer a limiting factor. If we will build more similar robots built in body mines. Safely, the discovery of metal alloy two nine one will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. Okay. Alright, go back down just to see if I missed anything. <coughs> God. I was over here with the gas mask. Uh, yeah, the bat, yeah. Granted, it's easy to get lost in the cliffs here. I was gonna say, these are kind of hard to remember your path. Okay, that's the transfer. Uh, that way's a transfer point. Too. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Well, actually, go up there. Go up there, real quick. I thought that. Oh, vents. First, the breathe. Okay. 
Good idea to get that dialogue before you can miss it. Just her I'm saying, "Don't br I can't breathe. What are you doing? No, go back in." Sir, I am a child. <laughs> Listen, I made a child, unfortunately, commit murder. Oh yeah, you did do that routine. <laughs> I did. No, I didn't do it all the way through. I tried it, and I felt so. Fucking... Oh, you're supposed to. <laughs> That's why I can only play Vasmus. All right, that goes I back. Can... So we got to move forward to the right. All right. I'm interested to see how Delta Rune is going to do that from future chapters. Well, I ain't gonna know <laughs> without looking at YouTube, because I ain't gonna touch it. <laughs> Why not? Listen, Chris may want genocide and or to literally just be left alone so they don't have to talk to these people, which is what I saw in a very well-made fan comic. Which is just basically Chris talking to the heart and just like, if I told you to let me just live my life and not have me interact with these people, would you let me? And then the heart's just silent. Okay. Clover. Strange black plants, they look like clovers. Robot. No power, just like the rest. Giant claw, okay. Some more black clover. Okay, we can go up here. What the fuck? The light bulb. So are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expect just someone taller. Listen, you try being the cat. At least one doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? No, uh I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. That robot there says there's no mistake. I know. <sighs> there's no going to be going to sound cold, but I don't think you're paying off just leaving letting the world die naturally. The world's been falling apart for a long time. This matter of decay is highly improbable that the sun can fix it. We've seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't had much, seen much of anything, <laughs> actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb, or sun, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that no one can comprehend. The power is the strongest at the summit. It will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh. Doesn't take my word for it, though. At least they're honest. Yeah. Okay. Alright. What's inside the tower? I don't know, no one ever entered it before. At least nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who won study before, but... Oh. He never told me if he went anywhere. Okay. Oh, more of the little battery packs. Lots of tanks yeah. are presuming this jar. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it's be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the re the row bots are recalled. <laughs> At least let me know you got the message, Kip. Robots. I think it's poking out of this. Oh uh, yeah. So, the screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Well, at least they're polite. Yeah. There's lots of tiny shrimp going in the jar, and lots of tiny shrimp that aren't glowing. Poor swimming. Oh wait, I just refilled that two days ago. Guess I'll make a trip to the shore later. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell keeps me functional. Oh, they're a robot. Yeah. The generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It cannot even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All I can do is make sure to use the light we have. Okay, this thing can't do anything. There's a photo of two people. Oh, it's a bit foggy to see details, though. Don't have anything that could work there. So have weird tools and pieces of metal. Metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone for else for a long time. Oh, no. not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barons is of the capacity of the programming. Or you're just tamed for that matter. I bet. It's made of metal? Doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> Great. Alright. Need for 
further assistance. We're good, thanks. Okay. Alright. Well, I don't remember anything we need a screwdriver for. Hello. Wait. Uh -huh. I saw you heading towards this direction. Mine's been abandoned for a long time. I can't guarantee you it's safe. If you're under it, it's my duty to come to you at least once. Okay, thanks. gadget on the ground. Looks kind of like a camera. Well, it's a level camera, anyway. Probably been part of a robot at one point. Oh. Or not, I don't know. Wait a minute. Who's screwed in lens? Well, we get some hell we're using. Ready to pull the lens out? Okay. Done. Lens pops right in. We're using the sun directly on the battery. I would never thought of that. Good thinking, Matthew. That ah, looks like it's already charged full capacity. That was fast. There we go. So now we can do that. And one of those shrimp jars. Might as well ask her about the mines. Yeah. Do be careful in here. Okay. Shrimp jar. I can see the faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like the engine just collapsed off. A vehicle we can't proceed. Can we walk? I can. Views, the safety violation won't allow it. What's that anyway? There's a huge network of underground mines. The source of this world's metal and non fossil fuel. This is what have propelled the world to the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been lost for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been cleared out and repurposed. Makes sense. Though there's one that always insists on going back. Oh, I hope he's okay. Alright. So we can't go there yet. Okay, leave. Yep, yeah, nothing else to do here right now. Alright, time to go charge the battery. Well, put the battery in the generator. Yeah, close enough. I'm gonna ask this now. And I want an honest answer. Okay. If I trip, is there a way of tripping in this game? Because I feel like all my sprinting, I'm gonna trip, and the bolt's just gonna shatter. No, there, is no, there is no tripping. Good. <laughs> now running face first into a wall. There's that. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Not breaking your leg. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll snap your femur. Okay. And power up robots. Let there be light. Whoa. Check it again. Alright, fine, fine. Ow. I just got shocked. Shock. Seriously? <laughs> Getting real sick. <laughs> oh, hey! Everybody's alive! Yeah, it's alive. Uh... I am functional. Did you power the generator? I guess we did. Right, Matthew? Shrugs. <laughs> I can walk. I can see! Oh. I can fight! <laughs> Buff robot. No, no, turns into Bob from Overwatch. Bob? <laughs> Um, hey. Put the computer's on. Uh, nothing I can ask. I gotta ask it again, okay. Alright, fine. I see you've made progress in this world. Oh, great. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, we go the longest just in this world. Do you understand what that means? Okay. Yes. Good. Start looking. It's in my documents, isn't it? Yep. <sighs> I really hope I did put it in the right documents and it's not somewhere else. Document dot one shot. Hmm, I wonder where it is. <laughs> what the fuck? Dear curves. <laughs> 
Series 2 the IR Series 2 concluded a message to you, and I am afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is in the language that was out weird and did run this rip first. Ha he on a who you are, I'll read it, and you will know what to do. I have also left you a mask because I yell you will want. Look for a metal safe in the core of the east, somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point. Code is 640813. Okay. Alright. Thanks, mysterious entity. Okay. So does that mean all the robots are fixed? Well, the ones that were okay beforehand. Yeah. Oh, hey, bro. What's up? Oh, hello. Hi. I have power again. Yep. I'm pretty sure the ones who were just like heads aren't working. Yeah, I know. Hello again, Clay Farm. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Yeah... Okay. Alright, well I guess Clover Boy's probably good. Is there any robot out here? I forget. I don't think so. Oh, right. God! How do I interact with that thing? You don't. Okay then. Guess I'll go try and find my way to... Okay, nothing there. Guess I'll go find Clover Boy and talk to the other. Person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to Lookout Point. Lois is the old quarry. That engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance of the mine is further to the east. I see. Okay. Excuse me, miss. I found this book. Do you know anything about it? Let me see. What language is this? I'm sorry, I don't even recognize this writing system. Oh, what a shot. I'll load this insignia. Hmm. Hold on to that journal for now. It will be important. Okay. Need for assistance. We're good, thanks. Okay. Alright, well, we got the gas mask, so which means we can go anywhere we need to. For now. Yep. Uh, well, we're closer to this, this side, so I guess we should use this side. All right, genius, I'll go to the other side. Okay. I swear to God, Creed, I will f <laughs> The day we meet, I will f 
Like, it's gonna be you, me, like, I'm gonna arrive with Andrew beside me, right? Because I'll take him with me because we're in the same town. Kid's gonna meet us there, and you're gonna meet us there too, and I'm just gonna left hook you with a slap. <laughs> like, you ever seen those videos where somebody just gets slapped and knocked unconscious in one? It's gonna be that. Then they're gonna pick you up, prop you up on a chair. <laughs> and just, like, force feed you an ibuprofen just to remove the pain. Alright, let's go to the left this time, then. Or you have fast travel. God, I can forget that. <laughs> oh, the convenience of fast travel that we keep forgetting that exists. Okay. But I, I, I kept forgetting it during my playthrough. Oh, where am I have to? Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Jeez. What the fuck? Pond seems different. Water looks like jelly. Water well over the surface of the pond. So if you wanted to collect something out of the pond, then hey. Want me to fill the bottle with this stuff, Andy? Sure. It's too good to fit in the glass and pop open. Put tomato chowder in a baby bottle. And that got everywhere. I'll take all my clothes and the baby on the please clothes. <laughs> Gross, that was hilarious. They took a bunch of pictures. And then they taught me how to use funnels. And they also told me I shouldn't try to babysit and dump over. Anyway, you should probably look for a funnel or something. Nice. Alright, that was cute. I'll give you that. Hello, robot. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. So we need a funnel. A funnel or something. Well, we don't have anything that would really work. I haven't really seen anything that would work as a funnel. Or a scooper. Granted, it doesn't mean that we, the bottle is what we're, we're putting in the goop. You guys, you want to fill the bottle with gas? That'll do it. Oh. We have a bottle of smoke. Eh. I don't know what good that would do. Eventually, the amount of noxious units made from natural gas fans caught every team off guard. Thank goodness, the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. But it's a failure. That first expedition did bring us many observations about the barons. We found that there's not one, but two such vent cells. It's being pumped out high concentration. It seems miracle to gas hasn't spread anywhere. I was concur that the phosphorus shrimp in the crater pools were actively, were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevents the gas from wafting into the glen. That's the case, we owe a lot to these little guys. Also, it's a food. What? So they eat the gas, is what it's saying. Well, yeah, the gas is eaten by the shrimps. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so we could feed it to shrimp. Or, maybe. I mean, the ga the shrimps very clearly have a decent enough source of it. Yeah, I think down here their feet will fed. Okay. Maybe if we find shrimps later on in an area without the gas. Yep. Oh, what about those ones that were belly up? I think those ones were just dead. Oh. Uh. I mean, that's what normally, like, seafood does when it dies. Yep. Okay. Evacuation, such a nurse, can't believe it. First son dies, now I'm out of the job. Some sort of mechanical drawing. Okay. Aw, oh, robot, it's beyond repair. Okay. I'm scared of ladders. <laughs> Alright. Hello, what? Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. Alright, sweetie, six more weeks to come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living that awful capsule wall dorm thing. 
Guess what? Soon you'll be able to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Oh. Guess I grew up to pack up and start evacuation starting today. Wish these books weren't so heavy, it's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author, I can't just throw them away. Ladders. I got a weird feeling someone's gonna be at the top of one of those ladders. Hello, robot. Hello, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Cool. Infirmary. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um. Scan complete. Injuries detected? None. Treatment required? None. You are good to go. Uh, thanks. Lots of medical tools. Most of them are broken and rusty beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Oh, we could use that to take some of the goop. Hello, person. Oh. Are you seeking admission to the infirmary? No. Oh, carry on then. Oh, I get it. Take the goop, put it in the bottle. Oh. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Okay. Picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots here, Matthew. Or robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Anyway, do a robot voice. Sure. What? I talk like a robot. Um, ahem. Beep boop. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. Hee <laughs> <laughs> That's not correct. <laughs> robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestion. Some robots do not even have mouths. Oh. Yeah. I'll imagine that was how you talk about that You made me robot. look silly. <laughs> Just imagine that that's how he found out that this guy was here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just all of a sudden. Just uh, actually. <laughs> robot appears in room randomly to correct you. Oh god. Thanks, right. hey, fate. I'd like to do some sort of electrical magnetic interference. The radius operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers continue to fail so much, me, it's gonna get the pace. Or so it doesn't have to be happy robots. At least not human rate. Time will tell. How you doing, buddy? Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Alright. All these terminals do not boot. I'm not sure what to do now. Whoops. God. Uh... Hello, do you need any help? I'm good. Is this the one with... Oh, no. Different guy. Thank you, ship in the jar. Okay, no robot up there this time. I remember being taught in schools about how the water surrounded the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all the water went. Hmm. Oh. It's a power cell, I think. There's something written on this, too. Jarring of the residential area. Lots of tiny shrimp swimming in the jar. Looks like a little dim. Lots of tiny shrimp in the jar. Looks like a little dim. Okay, I can't... Can't feed them. Let's like evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens with all the people are already gone. What if the engineer is going, too? Apparently, phase one of the excavation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few trips. They said it was due to something with squares. Not sure what they meant. That some of like they won't be able to transport most survival spots to the city at this rate. Working so hard on those. I suppose robots are busy enough to transport people as is. Things got territory soon. Okay. Okay. Holy hell! Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? 
A living person such as yourself should not be evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. In this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greetings, you... Was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to Prophet Bot? I think so, yeah. Prophet Bot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with ease. Oh. That's kinda sad. What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Uh, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Aw, sorry big guy. Feel sorry for this guy, feel sorry for the prophet guy that we met earlier. Feel sorry for everybody up in here. Granted, we learned a little bit more, more about taming, because apparently it's a process that takes time. True. Alright, well let's go get the... Go get those shrimp. 